Hello everybody! Emergency situation has been declared in Bulgaria. We are currently in Sofia, which happens to be the capital, and uh, I decided to drive around and see how people are actually react react reacting, reacting to the coronavirus situation. First of all, you can see there are people walking with their children, some people were riding motorcycles, people just going for a straw. Is this a good idea? Is it a bad idea? And why am I not wearing a mask now? Let's go and I'll tell you more about it. The road again! Have I told you how much I love to drive? It's one of my favorite things to do. Motorcycle, car, whatever it is. I'm actually thinking, let's go to a monastery. I want to pray because of the whole situation. It's just my way of dealing with this. Not really dealing with it, but you get the idea. Oh, wait, before I do anything else, I haven't... I haven't closed the, the charging port of the car, so I need to stop somewhere to do that. All right, let's fix it. And uh, this is a good reason to show you our gas station here on the ring road. As you can see, people are actually driving their cars, refueling. There is a McDonald's at the other end. People I can see are, I think, stopping and actually eating at McDonald's. Is this open? I'm not sure. We're going to figure out in a second. Huh. No, I think McDonald's is not open. But uh, there are so many weird things about the coronavirus. So let's start there. For example, McDonald's is not open. I mean, I think you cannot walk inside and eat. But at the same time, companies are still delivering food. You know, drivers are taking food and delivering it across the city, which means many places are open, but they're just cooking food to be delivered. What a great business idea, huh? Well, I'm not sure, if you think about it. The idea about the coronavirus is this, that you can be infected by it and not know it. And you can actually be spreading it to other people unknowingly. So if like a cook at those places or maybe one of the vendors who are driving the food across the city is sick unknowingly, or even if they know it, but it's a mild case, as we know many of the cases are actually very mild, they can actually deliver coronavirus to somebody who is ordering food. I mean, seriously, this is the first thing that needs to change in this whole world, in this society. News media, they need to become friends to the people who are consuming them. I mean, imagine meeting with your friend and uh, you're, let's say, speaking about the coronavirus and your friend goes like, the coronavirus is really terrible. Two more people have died. It's really getting out of control. I don't know if this is ever going to become back to normal. And maybe they run some dramatic music on an MP3 player or something. Jeez, I mean, it's, it's a real thing, you know? This is the reality. By the way, look at those guys. They are just building something, everybody. And uh, on the other side of the road, everywhere and pretty much I see the building industry hasn't look at us the building industry hasn't stopped at all even when I was walking to get the car there were people building some some buildings well crazy stuff so this is the other thing I don't completely understand they're like we're shutting down the country we're shutting down this we're shutting down that and then it's it's selectively some people just work as normal like I was in the store yesterday people were not wearing masks and I mean the people who are actually selling the cashiers if this virus is so viral I understand it perhaps it is viral somewhat uh, and if the cashier gets it from obviously the hundreds of people who she is meeting 
then she can obviously transfer it to everybody else. It's, it's, it's such a bunch of nonsense how we are reacting to it. And it is particularly because of the way the news media is talking to everybody. Again, if they are friendly, people will be more united and they will be like, all right, that's, that's cool. Let's, let's follow those instructions. Let's help this virus go down, decline, and we can forget about it instead of it becoming a part of our daily lives forever. But when they actually appear with this dramatic music, people turn into rebels. I mean, many people, and they just want to not obey the rules. They just want to escape this super dramatic reality that's being portrayed on the television. I'm actually wondering if the monster is going to be opened. I suspect yes. And again, I'm super interested what the actual priests from the monastery are going to say about this whole situation. Are they going to be panicked or are they going to be like, we don't care or I don't know. It will be very, very interesting. And I feel it will be somehow uplifting and uh, returning the faith into life, into humanity for everybody who watches this vlog. So let's go right into the monastery and speak to those people. Wow, look at this car. It says police. Yet it's a very strange car. I'm not sure, I think it may have been just maybe it just says police on it, but it's just for stunts. I'm not sure. And right there is the monastery. Make your bets. Let's see if it's going to be open. I see some people are walking in that direction. Let's see. And uh, if you're wondering why I was not wearing my mask before, when you're alone in the car, you don't really need to do that. Let's put it on now for in the monastery because you don't know. Wow, I think that the kitchen is actually open. This is crazy. Well, that was not great. You just saw this old lady coughing like crazy inside of the kitchen. I think she's working there and they're serving food to everybody. And here in the church you can see the candles of all the people who have came here. I suspect most of them have been praying for this whole situation to resolve. I'm actually going to do the same right now and I'll see you back in the car.
All right. <laughs> now, it's important that I obviously don't touch my face. I want to kind of scratch my nose right now. Okay. I should definitely not touch my face. Why? We need to be smart about this coronavirus situation. I mean, you don't need to turn into a pretzel and become an idiot and uh, stay at home and think that the world has ended already. It has not. But at the same time, you need to be smart about it. Wear a mask, don't touch your face, increase your immune system, sleep well, and feel good. I mean, because it's important for your immune system, for the positivity, it's super important to not buy into the scare of the situation. Again, it's serious. But this is reality, like the seasonal flu is reality. From a tick bite, you can get Lyme's disease. This is, for example, serious. There is asbestos in the air. There is radiation, a lot more than it was before the first atomic experiments. In, in the 60s. Anyway, there are many things, like I can go on and go on and go on. And all of those things are parts of our reality, as is coronavirus itself. Just be more clever. You know what I didn't like in the monastery? I mean, actually in the visitors. I'm not judging, but I'm just saying. Nobody was wearing a mask. Not one person. The people working here, the people visiting, nobody. I understand you probably think that God is going to protect you, but I think that this thing that's coming up to earth is a lesson and it's going to teach us to be more smart, more calm, more, more thinking. And uh, if you go outside like a rebel without a mask and you don't care, you may be teached another lesson. Learn from the lesson, be smart, Wear your mask. Okay, so we got some very cool stuff from the monastery. We've got some honey. Obviously, I'm going to disinfect this bottle as soon as I get home. And uh, we got a candle. It's made out of wax. It costs three euro and fifty. And uh, I have the romantic idea that I'm going to be actually lighting this at home. It has like pine trees, and it reminds me of this place here. It's going to bring health. Of course, it's not working like this technically, but uh, it's also very important how you feel. We have a nice magnet with a picture from the monastery. Alrighty. Let's go home, make a tea, by the way. Yes, you should drink more tea, more warm water. It's also a very good thing. Crazy! I love it. Look at that. Oh, come on. How am I going to cross over here? I think I have to wait. Oh, that's great. Look at them. What a lovely scene. Well, on our way back, by the way, we're getting the chance to actually drive through Sofia, through the city. I have to admit, the city looks depopulated. I mean, it's uh, 5 p.m. on a Saturday evening, and the city feels like it's during the night, pretty much, in terms of how many cars and how many people are there outside. But do you see anybody wearing a mask? Let me help you if you're wondering what the answer is. No, I mean, there are less people outside on the streets, but all of them do not wear masks. So you can kind of say... You can kind of say that we have, obviously, people on the two ends of the spectrum. Nobody. I mean, it's just... Nobody. It's
it's crazy.